Hi, I'm Phil Mile, coach educator here at Football New South Wales. So in this one, I'm just going to go through an attacking activity that I like to use for my players where we create overloads because ultimately that's what we want to try and do when we play our games. Now, I really love wave practices and as much chaos as you can. So it does get a little bit chaotic, but as long as you remember the sort of key things, uh, rules, etc., the way it works. Now. It, this starts as a 3v2, so you could be the coach and play it in, or they can just step forward, however you want to do it. Now, we've got three reds versus two blues, plus two goalkeepers here. Now, if you didn't want to have goalkeepers, you could use mini goals, etc. that's up to you. Now, the idea being that we try and create either a 2v1 or something somewhere so that we can get a player free. So, for example, if this player plays here, he steps in, he comes around, we create a two-on-one over here, whilst this player's looking to drive in at the far post. So once you create that two on one, maybe it comes on the outside, you get a poacher in here and you try and get a goal. Now, if you get your goal, excellent. So that goes in there. Now, straight away, the blue players will leave and then three new blue players step forward and then one of the reds can leave and that now creates a 3v2. So now these guys drive forward he might play over here, come round, etc. They try and defend, create a two on one. So we go again. They's trying to play and they score again. Bang. So again, once they've scored, the defender to players who were just defending go off. One of the attacker goes off. The ball will come out from the goalkeeper. Three new attackers against two players who were just the attackers, but now the defenders. And they go through, try and get a goal. Bang. Again, defenders off, one attacker on, three new attackers join, and we just go back and forth, back and forth. Now you can mess around with that, so it could be 3v2s into 2v1s, or et cetera, et cetera, or maybe just do a two on one versus two on one. You can play around with that as much as you like, but I think it's a good exercise to show how to create overloads and then make the most of them whilst having a goal scoring opportunity for the players.